Hello everybody, we are back here on the Hunter Call of the Wild. I hope you've all had a fantastic day. We've got another highlights video from some live stream clips along with a few kills that I got late at night, so there's no audio over top of them. I will be kind of explaining what's going on in them as much as I can, but unfortunately since it was so late I was just wanting to see if I could find anything in multiplayer and it turned out to be one of the best servers I had been on in a little while, so I definitely want to show that off to you guys and it includes one of the main trophies in this video which it's unfortunate that I didn't get to commentate over top of it but it is what it is we'll make the best of it and I'll try to explain everything that was going down but if you guys are brand new to the channel hit that subscribe button click the like button and turn on the notifications and leave a comment down below let me know what you guys thought of the video or just ask me a question that you've been wondering about it really does help the channel out an absolute ton, and I try my best to post three to five videos a week along with a daily live stream at 1 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, so if you guys are enjoying the content, be sure to do all of that. And yeah, without further ado, let's jump into it. So at this point, it's been about two hours into the stream, or actually more like an hour and a half, I guess, but this is the first good thing that we have seen. We finally have a level 9 mountain lion right here. And this guy is far from a guarantee at 38 to 40 estimate. It very well could troll, but... Fingers crossed that this thing will be our first diamond of the day. Yeah, this one is a 50-50 on whether or not it's going to make it. It could go either way. Well, let's see. It's just a gold, 38.90. Sad day. It is what it is though. We at least got a level 9 finally. Oh my gosh, that thing is off-centered and off-balance and off-everything. That is quite the mule deer. Holy. That thing looks wild. Alright, let's see if we can get an angle on this guy. Because obviously we can't see him very good where he currently is. All right, well, I don't know what to do here. That's the other one. I think we got him vitally. No, we didn't. That is such a weird mule deer. Okay, we should be able to get him now. Yeah, we got him. There we go. Second shot nailed him. That is such a strange mule deer. We might actually tax that thing. Never seen one like that. There we go. We got vitals on this second shot. So that's really good to see. We saved him, just barely. There he is. This very massive and off-centered mule deer. 296 too, jeez. Wow, that thing's huge. <laughs> oh, that thing is so off-centered. Or wait, not, not off-centered. Unbalanced, I guess is the way to say it. That is a diamond potential Iberian Mouflon. It has been months at this point since I killed one, if I'm remembering correctly. That's pretty awesome. Look at the size of that giant. We're going to get a little bit closer. Just so we don't screw this up. Because that is a giant Mouflon. Yeah, that thing looks huge. Wow. That is a monster diamond. This one in front of him is ruining our chances right now. We can just get that guy to move out of the way. It will be perfect. I think we got a hard shot. I'm pretty sure that was a hard shot. I mean, either way, he dropped, and that's all that matters, but oh my gosh. I think that might have been a hard shot on him. 
It's about time we got him down. Or about time that we got a good diamond on the day. Or a good diamond potential. My gosh, I can't English. Look at this guy. That is a nice looking mouflon. Well, let's hope it ends up making it. It's been a very long time since I've had one, as I was saying. So I'm excited. No! Well, second time we've been trolled today. Still no diamonds. This is sad. <laughs> this is really sad. Wow, that was so far below diamond. I'm actually kind of surprised at how large of a gap there was between his score and diamond. That's rough. That's really rough. Oh man, the, yeah, that shot was... <laughs> not where I thought it hit. That was almost bad. But yeah, our luck has not been great today. That's two trolls now. Two trolls in a two hour period. That's rough. Well, at least it was something we haven't seen in a while. A level five mouflon. It's gotta be over here in this brush. Yeah, right there. I think that's definitely a diamond. That's definitely got to be a diamond. Don't you have enough diamond, Gemsbok? <laughs> yeah, but when the servers read Gemsbok time, I cannot resist. I got to go for it. Ooh. It's actually perfect right there. Ooh, don't you do that to me. Stop moving. It should be coming back very short. Shirt? Shun? Shun? Wow. Today is not a good day for me already, guys. The Flinglish is on 1,000. <laughs> yeah, I definitely think this has to be a diamond. It looks it looks really thick. With as many of these big level 4s that I've killed as of recent, I've started to be able to tell the difference between the trolls and the ones that make it. This one looks like it could make it. It seems thick. This is actually going to be perfect. We can get it right under our stand. Maybe we can take this thing with iron sights. We got her. There we go. Absolutely smoked her. Wow. I can't believe that we actually got that close. That was pretty awesome. I don't think I've ever been able to take a Gemsbok with iron sights, so that was pretty cool right there. Alright, let's see. Will this be a diamond? Oh, it was so close. It definitely was the bigger horns, but... Just barely off. There we go, guys. It's not the brown one that I wanted, but that is a Cape Buffalo potential diamond. It's got a really low estimate, though. So I don't think that this thing will make it, but it's hard to say. I have a feeling this is going to troll. But there is the chance that it'll make diamond. But it really seems like a troll to me. I think that is the gray fur type though, so that's pretty cool. We're gonna get closer because I don't trust the 300 at long, long range. But I guess we'll see. It technically could go above 152. It could go clear up to 152.9 and still have that estimate, so... I guess there's still a chance. Okay, he's actually in a perfect spot now. He's in the perfect spot. Ooh, don't you turn on us. That's unfortunate. It's really unfortunate. Let's see what we can do here. I don't like that angle. Um, better. I think we got him. He went aggressive, so... Oh, we did get him. Nice. I was going to say he went aggressive, so even if we didn't get him, he's running right at us, so... That'll give us a chance to make a second shot, but we got him down. Hopefully this makes it, but I really don't think it will. All right. Let's see. It's a diamond just barely by point two. Well, we're about to die, but it's okay because we got it. What a beauty. Diamond Cape Buffalo. 
<laughs> and we got smoked by its buddy. That's still really cool, though. So that's two Diamond Cape Buffalo in two days out of multiplayer, I think. Not bad. This one was really small, though. It barely made it. But we did manage to get into a single lung. Perfect. I'm happy with that. As with all of our rare whitetail, guys, it's a really small one. But that's still pretty cool. That's really, really cool. Let's get a bit closer and then we'll try to take it out. One of these days, I'd just love to find a big piebald. All of my piebalds have been under 220. Well, actually, I think one of them was like 221, but it was before they changed the scoring. So back then, that was pretty small. Yeah, that's so cool. That's really cool to see. There's a lot of good bucks in this herd, but... That one's the only one that really stands out. Let's get a shot on him. Got one other two. That's so awesome, guys. A small one as always, but still a piebald. Go ahead and tax that. I do hope eventually we get kind of like a true piebalds where it has randomized patterns. That would be really nice. But for now, we got this. And it is what it is. Still super cool we got a piebald. But small as always. At this point, I just kind of expect all of the rares that I find for Whitetail to be tiny. It's very rare that I get anything that looks half decent for rare Whitetail. But it's still cool. So now that we have got through all of the stream highlights, we are now to the three kills that I got off of this one server at about 3 a.m. in the morning. So there was no commentary over it because as you would imagine at that late of an hour or early of an hour, however you want to see it, I wasn't really able to talk because my wife was sleeping and I didn't want to wake her up. So I ended up just recording these kills with no commentary because Obviously, with it being multiplayer, there was no way that I would be able to save these at all. So, this first one right here is a Plains Bison, and it's been a very long time since I've seen a good Plains Bison. So, when I managed to spot this guy, I got pretty excited, but at the same time, I was kind of sad that there was no way to get commentary over it. So, it was a little bit unfortunate that we found it at such a late hour, but still really cool nonetheless, and I was extremely happy to be able to find one of these guys again. I was having issues with getting him out into the open, but we did eventually get him to cooperate right here, and we were able to get a good shot off onto him, although I was a little bit worried because he did try to turn right as I took the shot, but as you guys can see, we did end up making it and he did start losing health pretty quickly from a nice lung shot. From what I understand, these guys are one of the more rare things to find on Silver Ridge Peaks when it comes to diamonds. A lot of people find diamonds of all the other species, but the Plains Bison and the Black Bear are probably the two rarest. And for us to be able to get one of these as our first diamond off of this server was pretty cool. It had been a very long time since I had got one, and I think the last time that I did get one was actually when we found two of them at the same lake and took them out with the crossbow. And that was around the release of Silver Ridge Peaks on Xbox, if I remember correctly. So it's been quite a while since that happened, to say the least. So it was really cool to get that guy down. Next up, we got our first of the two albino bighorn sheep. Yes, you heard me, the first of two. This was the first one we ended up finding, but it was from the same server as the Plains Bison. And this server was from a level 21 host, if I remember correctly. So. It was a pretty low level account and those are usually the best when it comes to finding diamonds and rares so it doesn't surprise me that we found so much good stuff on this server but this one unfortunately was just a female which isn't really anything that we can keep in our lodge as you would imagine we've already got a better one from the xbox release of silver ridge peaks also and yeah this one is just a female so we don't really have any use for it as of now since there is no multi mounts for the bighorn sheep but this next one that we ended up getting, we do have a place for, 
and you guys are gonna see where we put it very shortly but as you can see right here it is a level 3 albino bighorn sheep and it's a pretty decent one at that for being a level 3 I was pretty happy with its size and we smoked it pretty good as you see it lost health really really fast and the 303 just never fails with its knockdown power. You can almost guarantee that that rifle will knock down anything that's deer size or below. And sometimes even the larger animals it does pretty well on. But this is such a beautiful bighorn sheep. I was extremely happy to find this one. Especially since that other albino one ended up being a female. It was much nicer to get ourselves a male one to where we could actually put it in our lodge. So I was more happy with this than anything else I think. But that's going to do it for these clips right here, so let's go ahead and just jump straight into the lodge and show them off. As you guys saw, there was a lot of trolls, a lot of rares, and a few really nice diamonds in this video, and I'm super excited that we finally got a Diamond Plains Bison after a long time of not seeing one. We got a couple of them a while ago, probably a few months after I started YouTube. But we haven't got one since, so it was really nice to be able to get that. Then we also got the uh, Big Orange Sheep Albino, which this right here is actually one that we got a while back. As you can see, it was uh, 816 of 2020, but the new one that we got, I think, is a little bit smaller. I'll find a place that we can put it, and then we will see if it'll stay there. In fact, I think we'll probably remove a couple of these mountain goats and replace them with something else. So I think for the albinos that is going to look best. I put our old one over there and then the brand new one is right here. I'm not going to put the female in this lodge because it just isn't nearly as impressive as these two males. So the two males are going to stay in here and the female will probably go somewhere else. Not really sure where yet but we'll figure that out in good time. Unfortunately there's not really anything else that we can replace in our lodge except maybe our plains bison. I'm going to real quickly take a look at his score. We will see. This is actually this is actually the old scoring system, so I think we're going to swap them out. I'll put the old scoring system one in a different lodge. Eventually, I do want to try and replace uh, all of the old scoring system trophies with the new scoring system, just to make things a little bit, I guess, cleaner in the lodge. But for now, we still have a few of the old scoring system in here, because there's some that I just can't remove because they're so insane. But anyway guys, I hope you all enjoyed the video. If you are brand new to the channel, consider subscribing. I do post 3 to 5 videos a week along with daily live streams starting at 1pm Pacific Standard Time. Also be sure to like the video and leave a comment down below and also hit that bell icon so that you guys will get notified whenever I post a video or start up a live stream. I do my best to reply to all of your guys' comments, so if there's anything that you'd like to say to me, any questions that you may have, feel free to drop them below and I'll do my best to get back to you. But with that being said, guys, thank you so much for watching, and I will see you all in the next video. Peace!